name is Anique van Boetselaer. I'm here at SIM 2011 today representing McKesson. I'd like to talk to you about the enhanced workflow tools that we are introducing with our HMI 11.8 release. As you know, HMI is McKesson's PAC system. The demand on the radiologist is changing to become more involved in quality workflows such as critical results reporting, peer reviews. These are all driven by regulatory requirements that are introduced by the Joint Commission, ACR guidelines. We can see that all radiology departments across the United States and in other parts of the world are required to comply to regulatory requirements. And new requirements are coming out all the time. So one of the things that we're seeing in radiology departments today is that radiologists often get distracted by these quality workflows that they are asked to perform. You'll see that they have to step away from their workstation in order to do other things, such as critical results reporting. They have to perform peer reviews on their colleagues' work, and often these workflows are paper-based. So what we've done with McKesson is that we've introduced enhanced quality workflows that allows the radiologist to perform all these tasks at the workstation without having to leave the workstation, without having to log on to any third-party system. They can quickly peer review or report critical results and communicate with the uh, referring physician to pass on the critical results right on their workstation. The first tool that I would like to sh show you is the critical results reporting tool. It's a very intuitive and easy tool for radiologists to use to track and log their critical reporting events. So in the radiology workflow, I would open up my study, view the images, and as I'm viewing the images, I may run into an unexpected finding. The finding is of a critical nature that I need to report to the referring physician immediately. To report my critical finding, I simply open up my report form from the main toolbar with one click. My next step is to enter the finding that I want to report. This finding is already associated with a classification to indicate the time frame in which this finding needs to be reported. I can enter my comments and the critical result, and I will save my finding. Now I've logged my critical result report. I've logged the time of the finding. The next step in this workflow is to communicate the finding to the reporting physician. In an integrated RIS and PACS environment, I can quickly pull up the reporting physician, pull up his contact information, find his phone number right there. I can pick up the phone, make the phone call. I can enter the contact method that I've used to contact the referring physician. I can add notes and I can indicate if the communication was acknowledged or not. If I made a phone call and doctor, the doctor was not available right away, I can enter notes, for example, call back in five minutes. In this case, the communication has not been acknowledged, but I can log the event and now I have a log of the date and the time that I made my first communication attempt to communicate the critical result to the referring physician. I can close my window here and continue with my workflow and come back to it five minutes later and try again. This time, this time I may get a hold of the doctor. Again, I was able to phone him. And this time I can say that the communication was acknowledged. And again, the time of acknowledgement is logged. I have a visual indicator that the critical result has been communicated that will show up on our dashboard as well. Okay. All the information in the critical results reporting work list can be exported to an Excel spreadsheet for your own statistical analysis. We also have two statistical report templates that come with the product uh, that are joint commission ready uh, that you can print out and it shows you all the critical results that have been reported in your department how many critical results have, were reported outside of the time frame, the given time frame for the type of finding, and uh, also the number of critical results that were reported within the time. So this is exactly the quality information that the Joint Commission is looking for. The critical results tool is a very flexible tool that allows you to configure all the classifications and the findings to meet your hospital policy needs. For example, you can enter your classifications. We've used a, a color-coded classification system. For example, we use red, orange, and yellow, red being most urgent. Uh, typically, findings that are red will have to be communicated within 20 minutes, orange maybe within eight hours, and yellow in a day. We also allow the radiologist or the radiology department to configure the type of findings. So this would be a list of frequently used 
critical result findings that you would want to enter uh, into your critical results list. For example, we have uh, the aneurysm, lung nodules, head trauma, etc. So those are frequently used critical result findings or unexpected findings that you would want to have in your, in your drop-down list for quick and easy access. So as you can see, the critical results reporting tool is a really easy tool for radiologists to use to log and track their critical results event, get to the contact information for the referring physician, and communicate the critical result. They don't have to leave their workstation. They don't have to enter accession numbers. All that information is embedded in the, in the system and in their tool. So the great thing is, is that you can report and track your critical results within three or four clicks. It's an easy workflow, and the radiologists that we have currently today that are using it are loving it. <laughs>